two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade-long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond. In 2006, a rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral, starting a space journey that would take the New Horizons spacecraft billions of miles to distant parts of outer space. In the summer of 2015, that spacecraft flew by Pluto, sending back pictures and other data that gave us all sorts of information about the icy planet and its moons. And now, three years and billions of miles later, another flyby. This one passed a tiny ancient planet nicknamed Ultima Thule. Mission Director Alan Stern of Boulder says it is a historic but tricky deal. Well, we're so far away that when we send a signal like commands out to the spacecraft, it takes 12 hours until we hear back. And that's traveling at the speed of light. And the light levels are so dim, they're, it's almost in darkness out there. And so hunting down this little object, Ultima Thule, a planetesimal building block of the planets, in the dark from a range of a billion miles away, screaming at it at 32,000 miles an hour. There are some technical challenges, no question. The whole New Horizons mission is closely tied to Colorado. CU and Ball Aerospace built some of the instruments. Lockheed Martin built the launch vehicle. And the whole team that's been running the show includes many scientists from here. And if all goes well, the data gathered from Ultima Thule will give them more information about the ultimate space question, how our solar system came to be. This is kind of a time capsule back into the era when the planets like the Earth and the other planets were formed. And so we hope to find out what these are made of, what their geology is like, how they were constructed, if they have moons or rings or an atmosphere. And uh, I think we're gonna know a lot of that by late next week.